everyone and welcome back. Um, I'm going to do a no makeup makeup look. Um, seems to be trending everywhere. We've done it before, right? In fact, a few times. But it's nice for a little update just to kind of brush up on a little bit of technique, maybe a few products. We'll see how we go. So I thought I would just show you a quick before and after straight down the screen. There you go. So you can see what you're going to get. <laughs> Um, it's all about subtleties and bringing out the light and darkness in your skin and not as your inner evil, obviously your dark side, just the little tones um, in your socket, underneath your jawline, perfecting your natural beauty undetectably in daylight. Um, <clears throat> and sometimes, actually, it's just as much makeup as a full on look. Um, shouldn't take us too long, um, but yeah, I just wanted to kind of go through a few little key things that if you want to create this look, maybe for a beautiful natural photograph of yourself, maybe because you just want to have something really clean and simple, maybe you just love the creation and uh, the application of makeup in the most undetectable way, follow on, because I'm sure you're going to love this. Right, first of all, skin is super important so we all know that we look different from week to week to day to day so just to have a little look at your skin and um, in my case just give yourself a little bit of a pull up um, I've got still a little bit of warmth I used my Jimmy Coco tan the other day so I, I quite like the warmth in my skin I'm not too <clears throat> icy and cool toned but I feel a little bit dry so I'm going to even though I've got my SPF on I'm still going to go in with my Medicaid Hydra B5. This is something I do regularly on clients um, and myself because I find that putting it on once everything's settled in as a sort of primer for my skin pre makeup, um, I feel that the application of the makeup seems lighter and more hydrated throughout the day of wearing it. Sometimes I can put makeup on. Do you ever feel like this? Just turn that off and you just want to get it off your face. It just feels tight and it just feels like another layer. It doesn't feel a part of you. I find hyaluronic, particularly the ones that I like, obviously. Um, don't do that. And they kind of just give that lovely sense of hydration throughout the day. I'm going to start with that. Let that settle in. Then I'm going to go back to my Revolution Pro. Um, this is like my little lip filler product. I'm sorry, I forget the name of it and it's not labeled, but I used it um, a couple of weeks ago when I did my um, High Street Best Beauty Buys. And uh, because I've got a little bit of a rugged top lip, I like to really fill in that uneven skin. Um, actually, I'm using my Luma Laser. Actually, I've got it here. Every day, 10 minutes a day. I'm determined, I've done the before pictures, I'm determined to see the after ones. Everyone talks so highly about it, but you have to do it for three months. So I'm not even going to go there just yet. Anyway, filling that in, because to me that gives a super smooth surface um, to where I feel most self-conscious about. And um, for my lips, I'm going to be using my Wonder Skin Stick. I've actually become quite addicted to this. And I sort of <clears throat> always say to people, if you're addicted to a lip balm, the lip balm's not working, which is kind of true. Like the Blistex or Carmex is like avoid, avoid. Um, I mean, if it works for you, you don't need it in two days, then super fine. But I'm, I'm addicted to the lovely taste and hydration of this. Mm. And the sensation of the exfoliation. <clears throat> mm. Sorry, guys. Uh, so I just like to rub that on to get a nice smoothness. And I just take it off actually with the tissue and that takes off any of the abrasive stuff I don't feel it you can use a flannel or something wet but that's enough for me okay so that's in so because the tint I'm going to use on my skin and I really wanted to get obviously the Lisa Eldridge new skin tint and I know many of you asked for it I just wanted to go into Space and K I think she's selling now well I know she's selling um, and that get the exact colour. I didn't want to order a couple and go for it. I just wanted to sort of have that shopper experience, which I think is really important when I'm selling, not selling stuff to you, but I'm talking a lot about makeup and the majority of stuff I get sent. 
or I request um, but there are certain key things that I like to go and buy because it gives you a whole different perspective on what's out there what's been thrown at you anyway I'm going off tangent I wanted to go and try Lisa's products I will do and I will come back to you on that but there's plenty of things to use instead so this is the power grip primer by elf now if you're using a long um, sort of medium uh, to long wear medium to heavy long wear coverage you've probably got that sort of tech within the foundation like the uh, the Sicily one that we talked about the other day um, but this is super great at keeping on product that is maybe a little bit sheerer and lightweight like a sort of cream blush or something like that the key with this I mean again I apply it with fingers um, to the areas that fade on me so that's just around here definitely my chin but it's sort of more around my cheeks and just where my sort of pigmentation is those areas that I'll probably use a little bit of extra coverage um, so I pop that on you don't have to do it all over you're just looking at what your skin needs when it needs it you don't need to kind of just do a whole mask thing I think that's sort of quite out of date and I think a little bit lazy I think now we're definitely more educated in the way that we can apply things in a soft way that makes it more bespoke for us and therefore more natural because the whole look the whole modern makeup is more natural so you can just waft that for like 30 seconds and let it absorb so I'm going to use different types of textures to really get this no makeup makeup finish so it's going to be subtle and I hope you're not a bit like Neh, at the end of it but I think that's why I wanted to do the before and after so you can sort of see that very slowly um, you do look better and more perfected but it's not obvious I'm going to start with my ultraviolet I love this brand it's such a happy brand and actually I've noticed lots of new brands coming forward that just I mean I guess it's Instagram isn't it and things looking really beautiful for all the content creators to create but um, there's definitely some more happy chirpy colours around in beauty this is shade V5 these are nice and warm which I like so I'm going to take just that much SPF 50 it's a really really nice tint that I just dried I should have probably left it look a little bit longer now you can see how much coverage this has it soon breaks down when you blend it in but for a SPF 50 skin tint it's got enough coverage to allow you to have that even tone to your skin if you need it now with my fingers I'm applying it to those areas that I need it to really stay and then I'm going to take take my little Katie Jen Hughes brush this is her highlighter brush actually and then I'm just going to whip it into my skin <clears throat> and then you can see how it feathers out now what we're going to be doing is adding a little bit of light a little bit of dark super super soft but for me to have that perfected there's no point having a no makeup makeup look and then my skin looks sort of red and blotchy and full of pigmentation and obviously <clears throat> I look at um, makeup with such scrutiny because that's my business that's my job I've stared at monitors and you know screens and Polaroids for over 30 years so there's certain things that I look at certain things that my eyes get certain drawn to that maybe you guys wouldn't necessarily think so you can see now it just looks a little bit more flattering because I've got that little bit of um, smoothness around my lip the other one I like is the Trini Miracle Blur but I just quite like that application so the reason I've chosen the smaller brush compared to like a, a foundation brush that I might have here for instance this double ended foundation brush see the difference it's much smaller I personally love a small brush because I don't want to remove too much of it I don't want to kind of go in with a really strong buffing brush it's actually got some blusher on that I used um, and uh, remove it that's the thing you want to as I think the word that I used was whipping because I wanted to just almost 
buff and blend and dust that liquid formulation into my skin but keeping it there at the same time that's a good color for me normally i'm v6 in the summer and i just suddenly had a little panic when i read the color because i'm like oh no i've got a bit of warmth in my skin mm. thanks for everyone who bought the box and enjoyed the box i've had so many lovely comments and compliments about it 46 quid bargain but it's so hard to get a box that will suit everybody obviously you can't go into color and foundation and concealer so it's a punchy enough blusher and a soft enough ladder ladder and a, oh, it's 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 a real juggle anyway i'm really pleased with what we've got and it's nice to have a beauty bargain right so that is the soft protected skin so you can still see a little bit now i of pigmentation and irregularities in my skin it'd be nice if i finished my sentence right um i'm going to use this um angie hot and flushy 505 good little flat brush for concealer now nars matte creamy concealer is fantastic because it is matte and i can apply it with a tiny brush if I'm doing slapdash quick work makeup, do you want that next week? Slapdash quick work makeup. I love that because basically that's the majority of my week. Um, I like to use um, the uh, e.l.f., the Rimmel or Estee Lauder Double Wear or the Shape Tape. Those kind of consistencies with the big dough that colours on stuck on. Great. Doesn't move all day. But if I want to be a little bit more precise and if I'm at work, for instance, or I want to just create this sort of no makeup makeup look and I've got a bit more time, then applying it with a little flat synthetic brush and then just perfecting. And I, for me, I have to lift. So I've got the darkness that I need to lift to perfect. Then this is the way that I will do that rather than just going in with a more liquidy creamy product because I've got much 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 more control I really love this product and it's completely opposite to um, Glossier stretch because that's really sheeny and lovely and beautiful under the eyes um, because it just moves with that softness of the skin this is mine so I would normally just take it out and put it on a palette <laughs> um, but let me just take away that on my little mole. Um, what was I saying? But yes, so it's really nice just to be able to have a little bit more control and use the brush. Now, another teenager test. Will he or won't he? If he didn't pick it up on the microphone, that was the door again. Oh. Oh, result. Nice. See, good days and bad days, right? Um, or maybe the fact that I said, oh gosh, yes, my thousand thousands of followers so ridiculous you didn't open the door when I was filming. What, Mum? You said that to everyone? Maybe. Maybe not. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Right, so it's little, little dappling moments. Now, let me tell you one thing. I love doing this on people's faces. I don't really get as much joy doing it on my own because if I'm perfecting someone's skin for work, for a project campaign or whatever the medium is we're working in, to me, that's like my happy place. I kind of create my canvas and I see where I'm at. And at the same time as, you know, placing the colour or neutralising any colour on someone's face, I'm also absorbing their personality and their quirks and just understanding what someone may or may not want for their makeup, even if they don't know it. And that's the, that's the thing, really. It's trying to be able to navigate someone's personality and Eve uh, around makeup and what they will require without them even being able to tell you it. And obviously the years of knowing people's faces, you do pick that up quite quickly. But I can already tell my, feel myself going, all right, yeah, that's enough. That, that'll do, and it will do. It'll do for today. 
but this is a super super great concealer if you want me to do more classified videos like a great concealer video or a great blusher video or a pink lipstick video or just on product are we happy with the kind of technique chitty chat application that this channel has now become um or do you want actually like i just need information that i can click on and then know what to get if i'm out shopping or looking for a particular serum or whatever let me know thank you right <clears throat> around the eyes we're talking still about texture um, I'm going in again with the shade 3 Jones Road. I still absolutely love these and this is still my all-time concealer. They better not discontinue this. It is so, so lovely and I've talked about this endlessly. So popping that in. I just love the fact that it just gives such an amazing highlight without me having to do anything just see how it really shapes the eye like that it's almost like I've put <clears throat> excuse me sorry for my little my little throat clearing coughs here we are we're back on track um it just gives that lovely highlight without me literally doing anything I really like it and it lasts there are a lot of um some of my pet hates a lot of highlighters that you can get that look really beautiful and you apply them to your skin and then half an hour later it's just faded what is that chemists out there why does it fade right jones road i'm taking this and i'm going to really perfect underneath my brow here over the top of my brow here so this is lighter you realize that we're playing with light and dark this is lighter oh great can you believe it yeah of course you can <laughs> um what was i saying we're playing with light and dark to just almost give your face that sort of sharpening as if you're sharpening a lens on a camera that'll do just need to put the color on there and then we can perfect the brow so that area there just a little bit on my nose i don't often put a lot of makeup on my nose i've got a thing about it and i know some of you've noticed that it's just about makeup on a nose um i I always think that you look much more natural if you haven't got a heavily made up nose because it's sort of the first feature that sort of hits your um, eyes when you look at someone because this is the most for, for, forefront feature. Say so that quickly, forefront feature. You just did, didn't you? You copied me. <laughs> oh dear. Um, and I much prefer it if it's not heavily made up because I think it just looks a lot lighter. I'm going to just take that as well over that lip line there just to soften that okay do not worry i'm going in with the concealer brush and i'm feathering that edge off to blend that in i haven't done anything with my brows yet and that just really defines the shape And then brush it through and then we'll fill in very lightly i've got a l'oreal one that i quite like actually where's that l'oreal one here we are i picked this up the other day 24 hour micro ink pen in shade blonde ignore the 24 48 hours now this has got so the blink brow bar had the three points that my mum liked and this has got static points. Can you see that? Like the shape, it's pretty cool. So you can just put the hair like that and drag up, 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 up. There we are. I'm so glad I've been, I've had such a, oh, so many things going wrong. Did my back in, I can't remember if I told you that. I don't know what, I always feel like I'm coming on with an ailment. Um, I'm really glad I had that Simprove. It came at a good time, but I'm trying to get myself off these strong anti-inflammatories because I'm sure they're not good for us long term. Anyway, I was just thinking that because my back started to hurt and I was like, oh, I need to take my tablets. <clears throat> there we go. I really, really, really like that. It's a good colour, right? Um, let's go back and do the other side. I will soften that because that looks quite done for the no makeup makeup look, right? 
but sometimes it's good just to get it on and then you can kind of soften with a spoolie. I won't set it with anything, I'll leave the brows like fresh and I'll just do a little bit of combing through to break up. It's a nice colour that. Quite like the applicator as well. Okay, so. And then I'm going to do a very, very natural set of Lashify with no mascara. I'll do one and then I'll show you how to do the other side so as not to bore the pants off you. Um, but it's a really nice um, addition to the no makeup makeup, I think. And they've got a new shape that I quite like, but I haven't actually used it yet. <gasps> They're quite expensive, so I've saved them for like special occasions or special clients. And obviously with a client, you don't get them back again, understandably. Um, but for me, I can clean them and return them back into their little case. Good. Filling that in, it's more natural than the other side. Okay, let's put the lid on. Top tip, love that one. And let's just break that up so it looks a little bit more fluffy, not too much at the end because that would just disappear. Like I say, it doesn't last for two days. I mean, you'd wash your face, right? I don't really understand how that works. It's not tinting them like my mum's. <laughs> disaster. But it actually wasn't a disaster. My sister was like, no, I definitely prefer the colour sport one you showed me years ago. Um, what colours do you use? There was a really good, and now I've gone off on a tangent again, I'm going to tinting eyebrows because I've gone to my mum. My sister said she wasn't keen on the Maybelline. It did look a bit red, didn't it? Um, and actually when I put the colour on my mum's eyebrows, the reason I realised later why it was picking up too red was that her eyebrows were warmer than they normally are. That's why I was like, I don't understand why this is looking really red. It wasn't looking really red the other day. Polly said that she loves colour sport. <clears throat> I can get that back if you want. But also I used to use Adjust Men, like soft brown or something like that. Um, but it was a lot, a lot to buy. Um, so obviously that covers the whole head just for an eyebrow. But if you've got good eyebrow um, tints, do let me know. Like ones that properly last for six weeks. Right, okay, so looking nice. So obviously with the no makeup makeup, we don't really want any glitter or anything that looks like makeup. But I do need to open up my eyes a bit more and add a soft colour to my cheeks. Now, I had this beautiful one coming through from Violette Bisou Blush. It's called Melanie. Oh, this is, I have had so much joy wearing this. But I think it's probably gonna be a little bit too much. I'll definitely do this in another makeup because this is delightful. Let me, see. ah, that's what I got, good. I chose the e.l.f. No Budge Eyeshadow. Yes, it's going on my cheeks. Um, it's peachy and I really love it. Um, and I do have an issue with a lot of cream blushes that just don't last long enough. Um, unless you've got makeup artist by your side, but who does? I'm gonna go with my finger first of all and I'm gonna use the same brush that I used for the um, foundation. So you can always tell the difference when I've got the, oh, it's the e.l.f. again, then I've got the e.l.f. primer on because it just goes on really nicely. So it's super soft. And what I'm doing is just lifting that highlight right from here, just literally on the apples. And then I'm gonna do another whiskey business, round and round, but I don't wanna take the color from the center. That's enough. Okay, so put on the fullness of your cheeks, just extending up slightly, and then whisk that brush on the edges so it blurs it's gorgeous, right? Especially with this sort of baby pink. But I've got to be careful. Pull it back, pull it back. No makeup, makeup. That's what we're doing. Anyway, this lasts really well. So they've got numerous colours. So the No Budge Eyeshadow is a great long last cream blush. Must be said. Um, also what's great is the Nude Stick Blot and Blur. If you find that you're a little bit oily using this around here, oh, that's so good. knocks back the shine. 
making it look really matte, but literally you can't see any powder or texture on the skin. Okay, so there's a couple of lovely nudie shades that I love. I love this brand, um, Gen C. Really nice ladies that um, own this brand. They've been so supportive of me. And we've got the Armani Tint. Um, these I use a lot at work. They're really beautiful, super lightweight, and they've got a great doe foot. Well, you know that I use the, highlight, the one that has the lovely highlight. And this shade is called Reef. Uh, the Armani tint is number 23. Um, I think now looking against the pink, this is probably going to look too made up, although it's very sheer. So let me go in with the Gen C. Now I'm going to do a subtle, subtle wash. So because I want it subtle, I'm not going to apply it with the doe foot. It's actually not too dissimilar to the blush that I use. I'll just show you a little um, swatch of the Armani too. So you can see how sort of light it is. So it's more sort of trans, well, maybe that's better, you know. I think the Armani's better. It's more transparent. Going in with that, go with my instinct. It's a real wash of color because I do need to um, have a little bit of difference between the color on my eyes, on my skin, because otherwise my eyes will just close up. So really super cooling. And then I've used a fluffy brush to buff out that edge. <clears throat> so it almost looks just like my own skin. Let's get straight on with that. So lost, so soft and light. Oh, see, I don't want that darkness there. Let's go straight in there before it dries and pull that down. These act as a really good primer as well makeup. It's just nice when you're getting used to someone's face to do this kind of soft shadow. You see how that affects the rest of the eye as well. It's really, really soft and subtle. And of course, this is a daylight that I'm shooting this in for you. Um, because obviously, as I always say, I want it to be real, real, real. So let me do a little bit of a lip. So I'm going to do, I love my Dr. Sam Flawless Tint because it's got a little bit of colour in. Because my vermilion line is so pale, even though I just put paler concealer on it, but it just helps to shape the lip, I'm just going to use that around here very softly to kind of build that up. But that's literally my lip colour, right? At its best. And smudge it in. It's really soft, this. It's a pretty cool applicator. Has so anyone, I haven't bought any of her stuff. Um, so I'm just new to the brand. Do a little bit more, just on there. What's everyone loving? What are the favorite things? See, that is like, as if I had dream lips. I woke up like that. Well, not dream lips, but the colour. We had a bit of something. And just for a dab, dab, dab of hydration, this is really soft and really hydrating. Um, just in the centre. Enough. Okay, right. Let's get on with Lashify. Um, I'm going to be using Eyeline. Ooh, that's very shiny, isn't it? Eyeline. Um, and um, this is their new natural lifting sort of cat eye effect. Really, really nice. Right, let's start with Lashify. Um, so we get the bonder, we lift the lash, and we almost apply it as a mascara. I'll do this one to show you, and then you can compare it to the other side. Now, the thing is, you have to wait for it to be tacky. The key is, when you're working with Lashify, or you're applying lashes underneath, you look down at a mirror, okay? And you pull up, and that will help you see where to put the lash, right? It's really easy to do. 
it's actually harder I think putting it on someone it's actually really really easy putting it on yourself so you put that on first let that sort of settle in right then we're going to go in with a whisper light and this dries clear when it's really tacky and ready so it kind of gives you a nice guide of where to put your lashes okay like so now wafty 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 they do like a little um, squeezy thing as well which gives a bit of air um, I haven't got one of those just wafty wafty for me right so you take them out I'm going to use probably the longest one first on this side lift up this one the outside and look down she says look down lovely Oof, love that so nice look down okay so the eye is shaped to help you place your lash squeeze it through Mm. Okay. Third one. Pull up, look down, and apply. Hmm. So I just wonder whether that's just too much for a no makeup look. That's my only thing. I might go shorter. So you just pull it off, no drama, and I'll take a slightly, no, all of these are too much, Caroline, just take those off. It doesn't hurt, it's just like a sort of soft latex. Right, because I've taken those off, I'll just put another bit of bond on, and then come in with that one. Right, I'll change those around. And that looks much better. Oh, that's better. Much softer. So on the eye shape, I went for the ones on the outer side and it was too long for this look. But this, it's just absolutely gorgeous. So let's whack on the next one. Great. Lovely. How soft and kind of what a lift these are giving to my eyes. Really, really happy with those. So there's the no makeup makeup look with a little secret shh, clash. Um, but they're so soft because obviously there's no mascara. You've just got your bonding glue. But if you just remove your makeup, your skin makeup at night and around your eyes, you can keep your lashes on. They last for up to about three days, depending on how you sleep, how you look after them, etc. But they're nice and soft. Um, and I just think that's a really kind of cheeky way just to open out your eye without looking like you've got makeup on if you want to follow that trend or just be that person um so i hope you like it um and uh yeah look forward to reading all your comments below and um chat to you next week